Our Ask the Mom section, which if you don't know what this is, this is a where we take a question from our Mom Street audience um and we it's usually not related to the topic we're talking about and then we just we chat about it a little bit so jackie what do we got for ask the moms yes so this one is is kind of loaded so we may just have to be a little brief with it and maybe can elaborate on it in a future episode um but the question is i'm taking a last minute trip what are the top priority things that i need to make sure are done before i leave for this trip so this is this is not me okay (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we we're talking about my over planning um but last minute trip what are like top priority things that you need to make sure are done before you leave and we're talking on the disney side not like in your home no right yes i would say on the disney <laughs> side because like packing and all that kind of stuff are kind of those those givens Given. that like yeah. we have no control over but i would say yes on the disney end of things what are the things that you need to make sure are done before you leave yeah like check the big the big things are in place. And I did, since I travel often, and sometimes I forget to book things because I'm like, I don't plan a, a far in advance for everything. It's just me. Um, make sure that you have like your transportation to and from airports on both sides, right? Mm-hmm. Make sure you have your uh, park ticket, your park reservation. Make sure they're in your app or accessible or linked to your magic band if you have a magic band. Um, make sure your hotel res- reservation is not canceled. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> that is very important. More. If, or at least ready to like that it's all there you can also check in online if it's a disney world one you can check in in advance um it's not necessary to check in, in advance but you can and you can put some preferences about where you'd like to stay ish on mm-hmm. some of those um do you want to say a few i was talking a lot no i think you hit most of what i would say just those big items because pretty much anything else if you're looking at genie plus or dining or the little extras you can handle that like once you get there for the most part if you're not super particular but yeah making sure your flight your transportation your hotel and your tickets like those are your your big ones yeah and uh dining is something where you can if you're already late in the game for dining, then it's like, it, you know, you're more likely to maybe get some cancellations that, you know, mm-hmm. within the two days before and 24 hours before you might be able to ca- catch a couple cancellations if you really want a dining reservation. Otherwise, I wouldn't stress out about it. I would just plan to eat a uh, quick service. They'll just be easier for you in general yeah. and you don't have to stress about it. And there's lots of great places to eat. Yeah. More so in Disneyland than Disney World, but right. <laughs> there's some great, there's always options for quick service yeah. where you don't have to make a reservation. Yeah. And I would also include with that, if you're someone who typically plans like a year, nine months, a year out, and you have like a typical planner that you use, we talked about planners earlier, we have a Mom Street one, I would still like read through the items on there to like help yeah. make sure you've got everything too when it comes to packing, when it comes to booking reservations, whatever it may be. Even if you're not doing it in the time frame that's on that list, it's still something to consider doing. So I would still go through and read through a standard booking timeline and make sure that you have everything done through there, too. Yeah, and a packing list, too, is a, is a good one because I can't tell you how many times I've gotten there. I'm like, I forgot my sunscreen. I forgot that, you know, I forgot my sunglasses, like the, the basic things. And I like I forgot like pain medicine this last trip. And I was like, it's expensive to buy pain medicine there. <laughs> my last trip when the, literally the one that we just went on in November, I forgot my, all my pajamas. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I was like, cool. <laughs> Luckily, like Great. I had clothes, you know what I mean? Like, so like we right. could make it work. But I was like, I literally got there the first night. I was like, I don't. Okay. I forgot my pajamas. And my husband was like, how? I was like, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but you packed them for your kids. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and I forgot my swimsuit, which I didn't end up needing because my kids were sick That's anyway, and we didn't one. end up going swimming. But swimsuit's a tough one if you forget that. Yeah. It's like the year almost is done, or you have to go to Target or something yeah. and like make it happen. Right. right. And I was like, well, I was like, that one I can deal without because, like, even if they had gone swimming, I can just go sit on the edge because that's usually what I do anyway. I'm not a huge swimmer anyway. But it was like, yeah, my swimsuit and my pajamas. I was like, well, awesome. Oh, well. <laughs> And you know what? You still had a great trip. So it's like you, you're not going to panic. But if you don't have your like, well, park reservations for Disney World are kind of changing soon. So that but but don't let not. that mislead you. So, yes. Just 
make because sure you have everything you need and it's yeah. all in place. And also, I would I would say also if you're going to Disney World in particular, know your virtual queues for the days you're going. Make sure you ha you're on top of the rides that you absolutely want to do for each day. Mm -hmm. Even if you do this on the airplane on the way there, which I do that. <laughs> Because I go often. Uh, but, you know, sketch out a general sketch of, like, what it is you want to do every day, even if it's written in your notes app on your phone. Just, like, yep. have have an idea of what you want to do so that you're not taking – you just, like, oh, gosh, we totally missed the boat. We right. didn't wake up by 7. We didn't book the thing, and now we can't go on it, you know? Right. So I often will, like – again, I'm just crazy. I, I plan things on spreadsheets, but then, like, sometimes I do transfer them to the notes app. Because they have the little checklist that you can I check know, mark. I them. love the checks. <laughs> <laughs> it's so satisfying. I know. It's so satisfying. <laughs> then it like moves to the bottom of the list. And I'm like, ha, done. Uh, yes. So no. moral of the story, even if you do a last minute trip, yes, it's going to be okay.